ripped off all of the curtains because <laughs> they have these like temporary curtain rods. I just wanted to show y'all the view. How beautiful. Surprise. I'm in Toronto. <laughs> I thought that it would be fun to show y'all my travel skincare routine since it is really hard to maintain a good routine when you're traveling you only have travel sized products, limited space. So what do you bring? You want your most versatile products. I first wash my face with the CeraVe hydrating cleanser. My skin always gets so dry when I'm traveling, especially after getting off of a plane. And just like with the change in climate, my skin just always gets dry. So it was essential for me to use the hydrating cleanser. Any gentle cleanser would be beneficial. If you're using a cleanser with a active ingredient such as salicylic acid, those are great as well, but not as versatile. And I generally don't use cleansers with active ingredients every single day of the week, especially with like exfoliants, just cause you don't wanna over exfoliate your skin. It can actually damage your skin barrier. And when you're traveling, your skin barrier is already wrecked if you're anything like me. So go with a gentle one, hydrating if you're like me or the cream to foam cleanser from CeraVe is also very versatile for pretty much all skin types. Of course, all my skincare suggestions are going to be linked down below in the description box. Leave a comment if there's anything that y'all want to see next from me and I will try to make videos that best suit y'all because I love y'all and we're besties and I wanna do things that are helpful and useful to y'all. Subscribe so you don't miss any videos and make sure to like this video. It really helps me out and it would make my life and I love y'all. Okay, so I just washed my face with the cleanser. Now I'm gonna go in with a vitamin C. I just started using this one. This one's from PCA Skin. So I'm just gonna apply this to my face and neck. And you'd never wanna skip the neck with your skincare treatments because the neck is also one of the first signs of aging very vulnerable area as well. It gets lots of sun exposure. Antioxidant boost. It works in conjunction with your sunscreen to protect your skin from free radical damage. It is an absolute essential in my routine. When I was younger, I really only did the essential basics. If you don't know what the essential basics are, I'll link it here. If you know, you know, you're a queen. I used to only do the essential basics. And then as soon as I added vitamin C into my routine, it just really brightened up my skin and gave it that extra boost that I was needing. Now I'm going in with my favorite, current favorite, moisturizer. If you know, you know, from the essential basics routine video. Just kidding, I will tell y'all here as well. It's the La Roche Posay Double Repair Tellurian gotten so good at saying that word. Talerian. Anyways, I'm going in with that moisturizer. I find that it is so versatile. It works for all skin types. It's light while also being hydrating. I need a little extra moisture because again, my skin's so dry. And also the PCA vitamin C is so strong. It's a lot stronger than a lot of the other vitamin C's that I've used doesn't necessarily mean that it works better. Just a note for all you baddies out there, just because it's stronger doesn't mean it works better. Most of the time. You have to use what your skin tolerates. So my skin tolerates the stronger vitamin C because I've, you know, built up the tolerance for my skin. I've used a lot of other vitamin C products. I've been using retinoids for years. So my skin, I feel like, is veteran skin at this point. <laughs> that makes me sound so old. 
But anyways, so yeah, the PCA vitamin C is a little bit of a stronger formulation than most. So it does sting a little going on. That is normal for a stronger vitamin C. But again, your skin does not have to sting for it to be good. And actually, if it does sting you, I typically tell my patients to stay away from it. Look at this. I have a pimple. I have a pimple from all the changes in my environment and also being on the East Coast, I feel like the air is just a little bit more polluted. Being in Portland has really spoiled me because the air is just so fresh and so clean. So fresh and, so clean. and I sleep with an air purifier as well, which also helps. If you haven't done that yet, start now. It'll do wonders for your skin. Unexpected perk. After moisturizer, I go in with a sunscreen, of course. You'll already know my favorite sunscreen which was talked about in the Essential Basics video. But I'm trying this new one, this La Roche-Posay Anti-Helios UV Correct. You know what? I actually really like this one as well. Wow, I feel like such a little influencer doing this. <laughs> I actually really like this one so far. It goes on nice and light, really elegant application, and it's SPF 70. It's a chemical sunscreen, which is fine, honestly. That's probably why it goes on so elegantly. But for my sensitive skin peeps, I'd probably stick to a physical blocker. Stinging a little bit because I am a sensitive skin peeps. <laughs> That's just a sign of my impaired skin barrier. So probably next time when I travel, I'm probably just gonna stick to a mineral sunscreen. I mean, again, this one is great. I am a huge fan. I've been using this for a couple weeks now back at home and I thought it would be fun traveling, but I should have thought about how my skin barrier is impaired when I'm traveling and I should have brought a mineral sunscreen. Ah! But it's fine because any sunscreen is better than no sunscreen. I'm just gonna do my makeup now. I'm probably gonna go for a more natural look that kind of lasts all day. Be right back. to get here it's been 10 days without water finally we made it to a water source you can see the american side over there oh there's a rainbow <laughs> We're back. It's been a very long day. I'm so, so tired. I'm going to take a shower. We'll go over my nighttime travel on the go skincare routine as well. I just showered, washed my face with, again, the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I'm so tired. It has been such a long day. Double cleansed with the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser to make sure I got all the dirt and debris and especially the makeup off. Typically, don't wear a ton of makeup, especially when I'm traveling, so I didn't feel the need to bring like a micellar water or a cleansing balm, but ideally at home, you would want a micellar or a cleansing balm in order to remove the makeup before double cleansing but you know we're traveling we have limited space and then i went in with a retinoid this one is a prescription it's one of my more gentle prescription retinoids which is ideal because again my skin always acts up when i'm traveling so i wanted something that would still give me the effects of a retinoid but you know nothing too irritating so i definitely wouldn't bring my tretinoin some people can tolerate tretinoin a little bit 
better than I. So if that works for you when you're traveling, absolutely do it. You're gonna know your skin better than anyone. Listen to what it tells you. If it tells you that you cannot tolerate a prescription retinoid when you're traveling, then maybe bump down to a retinol or just do what I did. But either way, just listen to your skin. I followed with my double repair moisturizer. Love this stuff. Pretty simple. I also brought some Aquaphor in case my skin barrier needed the extra help overnight. But yeah, that's it for tonight. I'm gonna go to bed put my retainer in. <laughs> I hope this was helpful to y'all. I really enjoyed making this video. Let me know in the comments what y'all want to see from me more in the future, and I will try my best to accommodate. Until next time, remember that a little grit and a little gratitude go a long way. Be patient and be kind, and remember to give yourselves the same grace that you give to others. We're all just doing the best that we can. Love y'all. Bye.